Sarah, as we stand here today, I am the luckiest, happiest and proudest man in the world. You're so incredibly beautiful inside and out and the moment you walked into my life. And as we enter the next age of our lives, we enter this marriage and I have a number of promises I would like to make. I promise to make you smile and laugh, no matter how silly or goofy it makes me, to continue to learn to speak Italian even though I'm fluent, as long as you try to continue to teach me, to buy you olives so you never go hungry, to let you buy as many frozen blankets as you like so you're never cold, and to always to support you, no matter how wrong you get the words of us all. To be your biggest fan, whether inspiring those in your profession, of your aspirations, in progressing your education, and anything you choose to do in life. To work hard and let love and at life. And to give my all and the best version of myself I could be. To be your teammate, communicate with you when times are tough. Always work together to find a way out of any situation. To always respect you, love you and cherish you, no matter what or where life takes us. And most importantly, I promise to only put salt and never put pepper in the pasta water. <laughs> we regularly share gratitudes with each other and we agreed never to say we're grateful for something that hasn't ever happened. But today, I am grateful to be able to spend the rest of my life with you. And that's the gratitude I'll always have. Fraser, you look so handsome. Today, I am making the easiest decision of my life. I could talk forever about all the things I love about you. I love the family that you bring. I love how kind, generous and thoughtful you are. You fill up my car with petrol without telling me. <laughs> and, you, and you buy me olives every month, even though you hate them, just because you know I love them. You're so clever with all your spreadsheets that I don't understand. You are motivated and hardworking, and I am so proud of all your achievements, including your new, new job role earlier this year. You make me smile and laugh every day. From day one, whilst I have been your chaos, you have been my calm, my comfort, my constant, and my home. I have some promises that I will make you. I vow to give you every reason to trust me and to always be loyal to you. I promise to hug, kiss and appreciate you every day. I promise to never make you doubt how much you mean to me. I promise to watch The Office a thousand more times with you. I can't promise I'll always get it right, but I promise I'll never stop trying. There are so many things I look forward to, to with you. New York next month with your family and our honeymoon in January. I look forward to continuing to build our home together or destroy it when we decide on extending. And as a great as a husband, I know you'll be. I look forward to seeing you become a parent, as I know that you'll make an even better dad one day. Fraser, not cancelling our first date back in June 2018 was the best decision I ever made. I love you so much, and I can't wait for the rest of our lives together. As Pam from The Office said, <laughs> <laughs> When you're a kid, you assume your parents are soulmates. My kids are going to be right about that. I knew I loved you before I met you. I think I dreamed you into life. I knew I loved you before I met you. I have been waiting. Thank you.